Just hanging out, having a good time, waiting for 9.30 to show up. Brewers Cards Forever here. Just hanging out. Hopefully you've had a good day. Mine has not been so good. But we're not going to talk about that right now. Nobody's with us yet. Just kind of hanging out and chilling. Picking our nose. That's gross. There he is, J Sports Cars. What's happening? Not much. Just kind of hanging out here by myself. Oh, no. Now we got Bud Stoney with us. How's it going, Bud? Just hanging out till 930 so we can make our formal announcement. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Don't eat the booger, right? Yeah, I'm not going to try not to. It's awfully tempting. Of course, it might have the COVID in it, so we don't want to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mining for mineral resources. Yeah, booger nuggets. Well, it depends. If they're cub cards, I'll, I'll just smear it all over it. No, I'm just kidding. I shouldn't say that. There are some cub cards that are worth something that I might be able to get some money out of, so... I shouldn't talk bad about the Cubs, though, but I will. I'm going to. Sorry if it hurts your feelings. Mm. Yep, that's going to be part of that giveaway. That's uh, it's a pretty sweet card. I pulled that uh, in one of my past videos. And uh, I... Uh, oh, you got a green one? Sweet. I, I don't collect Robert, although... Where did, uh, where did that one thing go? I am, uh, I am going to keep that one once it gets to me. Hopefully that gets to me soon. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate that. I, I have been collecting Alvarez. And so my, um... Oh, sweet Mojo Rookie. But my nephew hasn't benefit, benefited from that because I've been kind of hoarding all of my... Um, hoarding all of my Alvarez's. So, matter of fact, I actually got a Alvarez autograph on, uh, on eBay not that long ago. And actually, I revealed it on one of my Brew Crew reviews. But even though it's, he's not a brewer... I, I grew up in Houston, so I kind of was back and forth between the Astros and the Brewers, but it was okay back in the day because they were in separate leagues, and now they're in separate leagues again, so I can kind of root for them, but although, you know, that's not a popular thing right now, rooting for the Astros because, uh, you know, they're a bunch of cheaters. Yeah, no kidding. J-Bob and Sons, how's it going? Just hanging out, waiting for 9.30 to roll around so we can announce the giveaway officially. Clint, what's happening, big dog? Now, you're in Japan. Shouldn't you be, like, sleeping right now? Or are you just waking up? Pete Miller, what's happening, Pete Miller? We were just talking about the Astros and uh, Alvarez. <laughs> I want 250 subscribers. Oh, I got them. Cool. Right on. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about uh, how you can acquire that card here soon. Yeah, Clint, how's the weather in Japan? What's going on? I haven't been there in forever. And when I say forever, I mean like 25 years. You know, that's funny because... Thanks, J-Bob and Sons. Uh, when I was in Okinawa... Uh, the coldest it ever got was 34 degrees, but it was such a humid, damp, nasty 34 degrees. It was actually colder 
there than uh, than it was in Wisconsin. You know, like at least feeling. I had never been that cold before. It's like a to the bone cold. You know, it's just crazy, crazy. Uh, that was probably the one thing about uh, Japan slash Okinawa that I did not like. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Stoney, thanks, man. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, guys, really, when I started this, I really didn't expect to get over 100. I just wanted to show, share with everybody me opening cards and enjoying the hobby. Now, I enjoyed the hobby, and then I opened a store, and then I joined the Marine Corps and kind of collected on the side a little bit. Kind of hard when you're moving all the time. Uh, and then when I got out, I ended up opening a store. Uh, in Jacksonville, North Carolina, and uh, did that for a few years and then got away from that when the market kind of started to tumble around 02. Uh, and then just stayed away from it for so long, and so now I'm back. So we're going to give some people a few more minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to... I'm going to open up the pack that I meant to open uh, at during lunchtime rips before my whole life just got, well, not my life, but my day anyway, before my day got completely blown apart. Um, if you didn't watch my not really lunchtime rips, one of my employees got, uh, well, she didn't get uh, diagnosed with COVID, but her roommate did. So now she had to go get a test. And she's quarantined probably for two weeks because she is her roommate who has it. So that kind of that kind of sucks. Great worthy. Hey, thanks for uh, yeah. Thanks. I, I'm I'm so happy to be at 250. All right, let's check and see what we got in this pack, and then after I'm done with this pack, we'll uh, we'll go over the giveaway. So we got a Sean Green, a JA Hap, got uh, former Brewer Brett Phillips. Billy McKinney, Yaro Munoz, Mike Tauschman, Pablo Sandoval, Mike Trout, All-Star Game. Nice. Brandon Morrow, Tyson Ross. Missed another Mike Trout. No, that's not Mike Trout. That's Pujols. Come on, wake up, Chris. Well, Trout is there, but but we got Pujols there. I don't like Pujols because he used to beat up the Brewers every time when we played the Cardinals. Marcelo Zuna. Brian Dozier, Jacob Nottingham, he's still he's still a brewer. He's kind of toiling in the minors. So Gausman, Scooter Jeanette, former brewer, Manny Machado. Oops, I need to bring that up a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Um, no, Jay, we haven't talked about the giveaway just yet. I'm just showing what you would have seen at uh, lunchtime rips had I done lunchtime rips. Uh, let's see. Who do I got? Oh, Juan Soto right in front of me. I'm sitting here just kind of blah, blah, blah. Juan Soto. Rookies. Insert. Very nice. We'll put that over there. J.A. Hat. Rainbow. Well, not rainbow, but foil. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Fame. Also a former brewer. David Ortiz, storybook endings. Wait a minute. Didn't I just get that? What is it? Oh. Hall of Famer highlights. So these must be all Hall of Fame. Uh, let's see. Cool, Steve. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Garrett Cole. Mike, we didn't start the fires. Yes, you did, buddy. Yes, you did. And Carlos Santana. Let's go sideways here. Anthony Banda. Cole Hamels. Vargas, that guy, Joey Wendell, Nolan Arenado, Jose Abreu, Craig Kimbrell, Tyler O'Neill. Doesn't look like we're going to get the uh, Lucchese, John Hicks, and Raja Davis. So no Acuna in there. That's too bad. Ah, uh, well, can't win them all. All right, so let's talk about giveaway. Sunday, 8 o'clock sharp. We are going to be live again right here. And what we are going to do, Jack Plays, Top Digital, how's it going, man? All right, 
we are going to be giving away these three items directly in front of you. The gold prize, number one, will be this Luis Robert Robert Blue Gypsy Queen, numbered 78 out of 150. Number two item, and, and I guess in uh, the, what, oh wow, it has been a day, I can't even think straight right now. Uh, in from first to worst, I guess. Uh, then we're going to do this Tops 2020 sealed uh, Series 1 baseball tin. Still all sealed up. Still even has a security device in there in case you're feeling not very secure. All right. And last but not least, because this could potentially be Criterion Racer. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope 500 comes quickly too. But last but not least, the Jason Dominguez paper. Yeah, I know it's not chrome, but still very desirable card. Rad's going to be third place. So you're probably scratching your head going, hey, what do I got to do to get such cool things? All right. So number one, uh, go to my description, my, my like my community page, go to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page, Brewers Cards Forever, and then leave a comment there. And then I'll leave, leave a comment here in this one too, because I think I'm going to be going off of, off of this one as far as the comment picker, but then I'm going to jump over to Facebook to make sure that you are on my Facebook page, because I'm going to be able to announce things there. Might even do some live things over on Facebook. Uh, it all depends. It all depends on how many people I get over on the Facebook page. Uh, whether or not it'll be worth it or not. I am starting, I started to take pictures of some of my collection and uh, I'm starting to put it up on Facebook so you can see some of the really, really cool brewer stuff I have. Now, today wasn't anything special. I just put up the sealed brewer's top sets that I have. Um, but anyway, so that is it. All right, I got it. I will definitely shoot you a, uh, I will shoot you an email. Um, but yeah, no, I, I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate hitting 250. Like I said, I didn't think I was going to get over 100. This was just kind of, uh, you know, something I wanted to do. You know, all these other people worried about getting to 1,000, getting to 1,000. I mean, would it be nice? Absolutely. But does it really, is it going to make or break me? No, I'm here for the fun of it. I love opening cards, you know, and I figure I might as well share it with you guys. I know a lot of people, um, I know a lot of people you have, have sent me messages saying, hey, you know, it's great that you're doing this. It gives us something to do during the quarantine. And, and believe me, I think that we have another quarantine coming. So, and I will still be here opening cards. So, all right, to recap, leave a, leave a comment or, yeah, leave a comment on this when I'm done. And then go to my Facebook page and I will put a... Or just comment on the uh, on the Tops Brewers uh, team set thing. I won't put up another separate post. Just comment on the pictures of those. Then that way I can verify that. And then Sunday we'll come back here. I will put my computer up here and we will pick a random winner. First, second, and third place. Now if you want to hang around because I'm just going to... I'm going to go here. Okay, cool, Jay. I'll definitely give you a sub. If I haven't already. And everybody else, give them a sub. You know? We all want to be here to support each other. I try to I try to sub... Oh, here. I forgot. I'm going to bust open a pack of Bowman 2020 just for the heck of it. You hear me busting in the background. You're, like, you're starting to get all like, Whoa, wait a minute. What's that noise? <laughs> you know what that noise is. The security card. I've noticed that if you go to Walmart and buy cards, the only cards that are left are the ones with the security cards. Like, back in the day, like, when everybody wasn't, like, grabbing every single pack that there was, um, that the, the packs come with, or some don't come with, this. But every pack that I've picked up lately has this. It's like, I feel like somebody's stealing them because they're grabbing all the ones without the cool security tag. Anyway. Oh, Steve, yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Okay, so we got, uh, who do we got in this pack? We got a Rosario. We got a Newman. 
We got a Bo Bichette rookie. Miguel Amaya. Is that, it looks like Spanning the Globe, but it doesn't have the Spanning the Globe behind it. Weird. And then we got a Gavin Lux. Top 100 Bowman Scouts. Or Bowman Scouts Top 100. Very nice. Gunnar Henderson. Nick Lodolo. Christian Javier. Jazz Chisholm. Tim Kate. Oops, let's pick those up a little bit so you can see too. Nick Allen. Blake Rutherford. Daniel Hinch. Miguel Vargas. Austin Beck. Francisco Mejia. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Jack Flaherty. And Alex Young. Sweet. No Dominguez. No Poussin. No Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. is the only one that I haven't pulled yet. And uh, it's a little unfortunate. I do have one more pack of those sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and grab them and we'll open them up. Oh, you know what else? Everyone who wins on uh, Sunday, I'll also send you this autograph card. Well, I've got a whole pack of them. It's I'll send everybody a copy, an autographed copy of my uh, my rookie card. All right, pack number two. See now, this one didn't have the uh, the security tag, so there goes my theory. All right. We got a Jose Barrios, a Reese Hoskins, Aaron Judge. Very nice. What do we got behind the Aaron Judge? Ah, Christian. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Christian Pache out of 150. Number 76 out of 150. That's pretty sweet. I got a green Pache out of Don Russ. who was numbered to, what was it, 75, 25? I don't remember, but anyway. So that's pretty sweet. Jay, yeah, it's pretty cool. I love having my own card. Been wanting to do it for years. And finally I said, you know what? I'm biting the bullet and I bought those. And actually what I plan on doing is uh, I'll keep one for myself and then I'm giving away the rest of them. And I'm going to keep like doing different ones all the time. The next one I'm going to do is uh, me on a horse, uh, like trotting away. I'm in my Robin Yount jersey. It kind of reminds me of the Nolan Ryan um, Pinnacle Highlights card from many years ago, so kind of uh, kind of a kind of a cool idea. Where did I buy what the uh, Bowman that I got? Now I got them at Walmart a while back ago. There were like two packs left on the shelf. Well, actually, there were more than that, but uh, these are the last two packs what I had. And then, oh, my rookie cards. Oh, yeah. No, it was, uh, yeah, 10 bucks. And it probably took, I, you know, that was when Tops was, like, in the lockdown. So it actually took, like, a month and a half, I think. It was, uh, you know, a little disappointing waiting for it there. But, um, yeah, I, it was worth the wait, though. I really like it and uh, plan on doing many many more my nephew actually encouraged like kind of gave me the idea because he had his done um and he autographed it and he gave it to me if you go back like to one of my first videos i was opening opening day with my nephew and i opened up the top of the box and there's this autograph his autograph card in the top of it it really gave me a chuckle i was like holy god that's funny um so let's see where's the and then, of course, hey, Big Mike, what's happening, man? And then, of course, Papa Jay had his card done. And so after I, after he sent me his, that's that was the tipping point. I went ahead and ordered mine at that point. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, I got it. I love it. It's well worth the money seeing yourself on a card. I wish it was me, like, playing baseball on a card. But, uh, yeah, I didn't make it that far. I threw out my shoulder in high school, and uh, 
was never the same. Then I joined the Marine Corps, saw the world, and you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the end of my story. All right, so let's finish off this pack. Got a Chris Valadmont. Aaron Ashby, one of the top brewer prospects, I'll, even though it's paper, but I'll take it. Anthony Volpe, Alec Thomas, Nolan Gorman, two of my favorite players, Nolan Ryan and Gorman Thomas. His, his name like mixed up there. Uh, Jared Kellenick, got a Debbie Garcia. Oops, let's pick up a little bit there, Chris. Casey Mize, wish this was first Bowman, but it's not. Gus Varland. Uh, Mike the Indian Card Dude, hey, how's it going? And yeah, you know what? Totally 100% my uh, my pleasure. If I uh, if I could go back, I would, but I'm old and brittle now and probably wouldn't survive. But I uh, I loved every minute. Well, I can't say I loved every minute of it, but it gave me a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise. So um, yeah, I truly enjoyed it. Jordan Alvarez, rookie. Very nice. Gavin Lux, rookie. Jordan Yamamoto. So this would not be an opening without a Jordan Yamamoto. I either get a Yamamoto or I get a um, Yusei Kikuchi. One or the other. So, yep, Yamamoto had to show up today. And then Shohei Otani. All right. So that is that. You guys want to watch me open anything else? Anything else? I've got some other stuff sitting on my... Uh, Sitting on my shelf over there, uh, I've got some, I don't even know. i got so much stuff sitting over there. I've got a couple of Prime Packs. I've got a Blister Box, or Blister Box, Blaster Box of 2020 Series 1, a Blaster Box of Don Russ Series 1. <clears throat> Give me a thumbs up if there's something you want to see me open. And then tell me what you want me to open, and maybe uh, maybe I'll go run over there to the shelf and grab it and open it. What do you guys think? Anybody up for some more opening? <coughs> Excuse me. Anybody? Bueller. 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 Gonna make me switch to my uh Yeah, I'll definitely Man, I wish I had some more uh I wish I had some more Bowman open. 19 chrome. No. No, I don't think I have any I don't have a whole lot of good stuff right now. I uh Ah, anything good with a chance of a good Keston Hera card. Unfortunately, it's probably only gonna be the Don Russ. Look, I tell you what. I'm going to pick us up here. Excuse the shakiness. All right. You guys are going to get to see my office. You know what? I think I may do have... Maybe I do have one more pack of update. Let me... Uh, let me pick us up and move us across the room here. You guys can see my messy office. Nolan Ryan bobblehead. The thing is huge. And then all my brewer bobbleheads. And some other miscellaneous stuff. And then, of course, the washer and dryer, because, you know, that's absolutely necessary in the office. All right. Let's see what I got to open over here. Uh, let's see. I've got some Bovid Platinum. I've got some 19 Gallery. 17 Top Series 1. Oops, a single pack of 2020. Oops, Heritage 19. 17 Series 1. Oops, I keep dropping the camera down. Another pack of 19 Gallery. And, oh, there we go. 2019 update. Now... And also, in case you didn't see it last time, this whole area right here, that's all Nolan Ryan cards. Every single one of them. Uh, 18,000 in all. I have a few. And then this empty spot here, that's where my brewer collection go. It actually went out to my uh, out to my vehicle because I took them to work to mess with them because I ended up having to be there 
all day long. So I needed a project, and that became my project while I was there. Yeah, those are all Nolan Ryans. 18,000, roughly, roughly. Uh, all right. So I think I'm going to open this, and then I think I'm going to get going. I told my daughter that uh, I would help her fill out some information for the DMV so she can get her license, or not her license, but her car registered. Well, Eloy Jimenez just hasn't been playing as long as Nolan Ryan, you know? I mean, Nolan's been playing forever. And I've been collecting Ryan since uh, 1980, 81, somewhere in that area. Not only that, but I owned my own store. So while I was in my own store, I uh, I bought a lot of Ryans off of people. So uh, that kind of made it a little, uh, little easier to get things. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Wow. 4,100 Lindor. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh... So we've got a Lane Thomas, an Alex Colomb, a Braden Bishop, Gypsy Queen Autograph, nice, Estrada, it was in Jacksonville, North Carolina, at the, in the mall, right outside of the Marine Corps base there, after I got out, uh, my wife at the time, her, um, her parents, uh, still lived in Jacksonville because uh, he was a retired master gunnery sergeant. And so we moved away. We moved back because she wanted to be my mom and dad. So I needed some way to some way to stay afloat. So I had my store there and uh, I loved every minute of it. I had a lot of stories to tell about it and we can tell them some other time. Uh, but it was uh, it was a lot of fun, you know. Uh, we carried probably half and half as far as Magic and Pokemon to football base in baseball. I really didn't do much basketball. Um, not a huge fan. I'm, you know, I'm kind of like a Fairweather Milwaukee Bucks fan because of Giannis right now. Um, but I've never really been huge into basketball. I had a few. I had the Larry Bird rookie and whatnot. But almost everything that I got, I, um, I sold because, I mean, it's a business. That's kind of what you do. All right, let's continue on. See if we can find this bats down, or even a bats up. I don't care at this point. A Acuna would be awesome. All right, so then we got a Francisco Liriano, a Kevin Biggio. Very nice. You know what? This is nineteen. This is an eighteen. What the heck? Never mind. I don't have any more nineteen. Okay, so we got a Kevin Biggio. Sweet, <laughs> Derek Holland. Mike Yastrzemski, very nice. I don't think I open up a lot of 19 as well, and I don't think I ever got a Yastrzemski. Michael Pineda. Those guys. Injun Ryu. All-Star Game. Sweet, uh, sweet Blue Jays with uh, Vladdy on there. Sandy Alcantara. Jacob DeGrom. I got to set that one aside. My freaking best friend collects Mets. Dwight Gooden in particular, but Mets uh, overall. All right. Jim Bunning. That's shiny, but it's Hector Neris. And then the Bryce Harper insert. Look at that. Yastrzemski. So father and son hanging out in the same way. No, Yastrzemski isn't his father. I think isn't he just like, it's like his nephew or something like that. Is that right? Can somebody correct me on that or tell me if that's correct? Carl Yastrzemski and grandpa. Oh, so. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Corbin Martin. Rookie debut, Aaron Brooks, Russell Martin, David Robertson, Brandon Woodruff, all-star. You know, I didn't get this card either. That's pretty sweet. I will take that. Yasmani Grandal. No, unfortunately, he's no longer a brewer, but he's a brewer here and on the all-star game, so I'll take that as well. Whit Merrifield, rookie debut of Tatis Jr., 
And then home run derby, Vladdy Guerrero. This is a pretty sweet. And then we got a Brendan Rogers rookie debut, a Josh Bell home run, Nixon Zell rookie card, Richie Martin, and last but not least, Mike Ford. Yeah, a lot of people, I know, right? I mean, all in all, that was a pretty good pack. I mean, was it the most dynamite? Did I get any hits? No, but, but I mean, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that pack. And then uh, a lot of people are high on Sinzel, but I don't know that I'm I'm uh, I'm big on Sinzel. I think his strikeout rate was way too high. Doesn't make enough contact with the ball. But who am I? I I'm you know, I'm no uh, judge or rookie or not rookie or baseball expert or scout or anything else like that. All right. Well, we're rounding up on 10. I got to call my daughter and get her over here so we can get her paperwork done. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for helping me get to 250. I really appreciate it. I look forward to uh, seeing your comments here and on Facebook. And I really look forward to Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Time, we're going to give these away. Otherwise, you you go out there. Have a fantastic rest of this week. Thanks for watching, and bye.